Welcome back to Be On The Headlines. It's good to have you tuned in. We're going to shift gears right now and speak with the University of the West Indies and its 19th annual research days. Uh, you can tell this is a whole lot that's going to be happening in this event. Um, it's going to be quite engaging and interesting. I'm happy to have and welcome Dr. Sabrik, Sabrika Pinda Butler, Director of UWI uh, School of Medicine and Research and Family Medicine. Uh, she's a physician there. Dr. Darren Holiday. He is the Research Committee Chairman, OBGYN, gynecologist and oncologist. Dr. Uh, Mr. Alfonso Blake, Jr. He is the Conference Chairman uh, this year's meeting and, of course, a lecturer in epidemiology, uh, biostatistics, and research. Good evening to all of you. We'll, we'll have the other one join in a second, but we're just going to get started first and talk about uh, this, um, this 19th annual research conference days. Good evening to both of you, and welcome to Be On The Headlines. Good evening. Good Thanks evening. Evening. Thank you. It's good to have you all here. Tell us about the organization and, of course, the upcoming event, uh, the 19th annual research conference days. So thank you again for having us here this evening. Um, we are proud to be a part of the University of the West Indies, which is a global uh, university of excellence. Uh, the university has several campuses mm -hmm. uh, in Mona, which is in Jamaica, and our School of Clinical Medicine Research and Research is actually an extension or a site of the Mona. So we have been established in the Bahamas since 1997, and from that time we have had the privilege to train fourth and fifth year medical students to obtain their medical degrees at home. And so this um, has been truly a wonderful experience for Bahamians in particular. Since that time of us having a small cohort of students, we are proud to say that we have graduated over 720 new doctors, with 98% of them being Bahamian wow. graduates. Mm -hmm. And this is from our MBBS program. This year, we were actually even more proud that we were able to report a 100% pass in first time exam candidates. And so we're very, very pleased of the progress that we've had since 1997 mm -hmm, to now. Mm -hmm. In addition to our- So the university is showing no signs of slowing down? Well- I, I mean, here or in the region? No, the region, we continue to blossom throughout the region as well as in the Bahamas. We know that it is important for us to continue to train physicians. And so it's even more important that we have also branched into training a specialist. And so we also have postgraduate programs and quite a robust postgraduate training program where we've been able to train seven specialties, family medicine, internal medicine, pediatrics, psychiatry, emergency medicine, obstetrics and gynecology, as well as surgery. Mm -hmm. So we know that there is certainly a growing need in the Bahamas as well as globally. And so Coming from a university that is global and one that looks at inculcating a spirit of excellence and that has a vision that is of excellence rooted in the Caribbean. It does have that reputation. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so we, we're not just training physicians, but we're also promoting education, research and service in health and well-being. And so we're glad that we're here today to speak about our upcoming and exciting Research Days Conference. And this is what I want to ask the next question. What is the research? Because uh, we're going to spend the days doing research. Like, give us an idea of exactly what is this Research Days Conference. Okay, good evening. So thank you again for having us. It's really wonderful to be here. Research Days was the brainchild of, of one of our former directors, Dr. Robin Roberts. And uh, he was one of the first research committee chairs. The idea is that after having established a school of clinical medicine and research, how do we, sh do we showcase our research? How do we showcase what we have learned and communicate it to the wider public and uh, disseminated to the Ministry of Health, how do we inform all the stakeholders 
of what we've done so we can um, influence um, national policy. So the idea of the research day was to showcase what we have learned. Now, initially, the research conference was called Research Day because it was a half day. But as our director, Dr. Pinder Butler, has highlighted, the school has grown um, to cover both undergraduate and postgraduate training. And as such, the number of projects has grown exponentially. So from a half day conference, we have now evolved into two and a half days of conference. Mm -hmm. and and we have to change the name to Research Day. Mm -hmm. And this year we mark our 19th annual conference mm -hmm. where we showcase um, all, all what we have learned. We, the, 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 the Bahamas have very excellent researchers. Uh, if I could think of um, our research in HIV, uh, we think of Dr. Gomez who was a trendsetter in that area and has, he had helped to contribute to the national, international and national protocols with respect to HIV um, care in the Bahamas. So even though the Bahamas is small, it's mighty. And we usually invite all stakeholders in research in the Bahamas, whether they be um, doctors, nurses, allied health care pro providers, to share their findings with us. And, uh, to, to honor some of the work done by Dr. Roberts, we, we have had him as our keynote uh, speaker for this year. And uh, we continue to work and disseminate our, our publications with the Ministry of Health. Uh, typically, we would publish our abstracts in the West Indian Men Medical Journal and um, present our findings to the Ministry of Health to, to help influence national health policy. Yeah, are people from other areas, uh, wherever there is a UWI campus, going to be attending this conference? Yes, there will be persons from other campuses. As a matter of fact, one of our speakers for the research workshop is coming in from Mona, and she is, has a wealth of experience in ethics, ethical submission, and she's coming to present on that and to train our young researchers on that as well. Alfonso Blake, welcome to the discussion. Thank uh, you. It's just, so it's good to have you here. It's good to know that there will be other people to just, you know, kind of iron sharpens iron concept um, happening at this Research Days conference. Let's just talk about when and where will the 19th annual Research Days conference uh, take place? So it will be next week, Wednesday, the 22nd to the 24th of October. And the opening night will be at the Paul Farkinson Hall, that's the police headquarters on East Street. And that will have an opening ceremony with the keynote speaker, Dr. Robin Roberts, that night, as well as a panel discussion. And we'll end with a cocktail reception. The following morning, which is the Thursday, the 23rd, we'll have a research workshop at 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. at the UWI Mona PMH Research and Library. And that will be in person. And we'll have two presenters at that point. Following that, we'll have two afternoon sessions from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. That's on Thursday and Friday. Those will be all virtual, remotely via Zoom. Now, the, re the theme for this year's Research Days Conference, again, this is the 19th Annual Research Days Conference by University of the West Indies. The theme is, get this, making the Bahamas healthy again, building on a research foundation. Why that theme? That's a good question. We have this theme because we want to move towards a more holistic approach to healthcare. Mm. Rather than just physical health, we yes. want to think of financial health, want to think of nice. mental health, and we also want to think of nutritional health. Yeah. And we, we also- Which, which is from key, that, eh? That is key, important. Nutritional health. Definitely. Yeah. And for that, we also have an invited speaker coming in to speak about that as well, who is a clinical dietitian, to talk about how we can use our regular food to eat properly without going over a budget. We just get listen. That's all that important. You, you all were here for the first segment. You all heard me talk about the the inflation and the the public Correct. service and the which I know you all are here to talk about. I know, Doc. I see you already trying to say, Shanique, what's up?" I get it. I get it. But all of that is important because even with the budget where you are at, you've got to learn to use that to make healthier decisions. And that's completely true. Yes. You have to. Yes. Now, is it free? Is there a cost to attend? The conference is generally free, so everyone is invited to attend. However. 
the research workshop is the only paid component of that. And it's for $30 for students and $50 for non-students. So physicians, nurses, physiotherapists, anyone involved in research, policy decision making, are invited to come to this workshop and uh, for free, except the research workshop. And the opening night is also free, and we have a cocktail reception afterwards for that. Yeah, let's talk about the networking and collaboration opportunities. Everybody is looking, everybody loves a good networking opportunity. Okay, so we thank you for that. Um, but before we move on, we, we, this is one of our major um, continuing medical education events mm -hmm. that is um, put on by the university. So while everyone is free to attend, we have an administrative fee of $100 for those who wish, who wish to claim um, CMEs. But this is a wonderful opportunity to, to network and to meet uh, researchers and lecturers who are at the cutting edge of um, medical technology. For me, I could recall personally, uh, we had an, inv an invited speaker who presented um, a lecture on how we can go from bedside to research and to drug development. And having spoken with him in the and the sessions in between, he was inst instrumental in helping me to go away to do further studies in Canada. So it's a wonderful opportunity to network. And though it's virtual, mm -hmm. we have virtual chat rooms and other opportunities to network. And uh, the opening night is also a wonderful opportunity uh, to network. Mm -hmm. And one of the, the highlights, the research workshop, because it's hands-on and a small knit group, we get to meet um, individuals who could help us develop our ideas and take them from concept to publication, and which would impact our country in a meaningful way. So here's an incentive. People love. People would love this. Like if you if you run a marathon or walk like a 5K, you want to know you get a medal. So get this one. Will the workshop be interactive? And will there be an opportunity for certification? Like when you leave, you are certified in something? First, I'll answer this certification question. Yes, you're going to get a certificate of participation as well as you can claim your CMEs. But will it be interactive? Definitely, yes. Mm. You cannot have an in-person research workshop without interaction. And I think that's a very good space for persons who are interested in research, who has to do research, and that's for all you physicians, all the persons who are doing postgrad programs, all the persons involved in policies to come out and meet with our dynamic presenters, get to understand how to collect data, how to develop a proposal from which really. So to add this, I can say we have an ethical committee here wherein once you're doing a study, you have to submit a proposal for review to ensure that you're meeting ethical standards. So we are training persons as to how to submit a to a committee and what to think about, as well as how to collect your data in a safe and secure manner using a specialized platform. I think we had a QR code up there on the screen a moment ago. I don't know if you all want that to hang out there for a while. Um, but is the registration limited or, or is it still open and people can kind of just still get in? Persons can still get in. It's limited for the workshop. We have limited spaces for the workshop. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't registered as yet, the QR code is on your screen. So please use that QR code to register for the workshop. Mm -hmm. And as I said, it's going to be very dynamic, very engaging, and we have interesting speakers being there for that. Now, is there a cost for the workshop? The workshop is the only component of the conference which has a cost, and that's for $30 for students and $50 for non-students. Mm -hmm. Now, people want to know, after they have paid this little fee to participate, and, many, and, and you can see it's rich. This is, this is a different level and different environment, really worth the investment and worth the attendance, right? But they want to know, can they have access to the material? Can they go somewhere where there's perhaps a, a, a storage space to be able to watch again or listen and, and go over some information? Okay, so since uh, appro approximately 2015, um, we've made all our conference uh, material available via our YouTube channel. And uh, to access this, our main website for registration uh, with, to the conference is at sunshinelearner.com. And you click the link and be taken to our conference site and registration site. Uh, the link to our YouTube channel is sunshinelearner.com slash YouTube. 
and that will take you directly to our YouTube page where you're able to view all our archive material um, since about 2015 with our stellar lectures and, 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 and distinguished speakers and professors. So it, if, if you miss it um, in person or in the cloud on the day, there's still opportunity for you to learn from um, our event. And quickly, phone numbers. Any phone numbers that people can call because sometimes people they necessarily want to go online. Any numbers? Yes, we have 603-0110 to 1. That's 603-0110 to 1. Say that one more time, slower. One more time. 242-603-0110 to 1. Okay, you all got that. Uh, use that phone number. This research days is next Wednesday through Friday. Friday. That's the 22nd through the 24th. Uh, UWI is putting it on you, so you know it's rich. You know it's it's something to be in the room for. Anybody in the industry, anybody thinking, but the industry students, all the rest of it, um, certainly register and take advantage of a great opportunity. Uh, I thank you so much, uh, Doctor, and I thank you very much, of course, Mr. Blake. Thank you. And of course, uh, Dr. Pinder Butler, who was uh, here uh, at the top of this segment. Thank you as well. And also at the top of tonight's show, I thank so much Bernard Evans and Paul Maynard. And then, of course, my Hot Topics panelists, Leslie Miller, Ellington Ferguson, Michael Turnquist. And in this segment, the representatives from the University of the West Indies. Thank you once again. A big thank you to all of you this evening. Thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow evening. For the entire Beyond the Headlines team, I'm Shanique Miller. Make it a great evening, everyone.